Hello and good afternoon. Um, let's see if we can get this set up here real quick. Um, how's everyone doing? My name is Mark Lindsay. Um, the title of my quality of character um, presentation is just going to be Fearless. Um, I chose Fearless because it's a it's a term and a word and a quality of character that I can relate to my everyday life. Um, as it pertains to baseball, I'm a baseball coach at the Division Three level, NCAA. Um, been there for a couple of years, just trying to get some experience under me. And um, as I try to move up the ranks, and I finish my master's program, but basically, fearless is something that we try to instill into our athletes, and it's kind of a, a term or a word that I wanted to um, instill more into our athletes this year. Um, as I think that we do a good job of of trying to toughen them up, but I think there's some words that we can use every single year, and fearless just seemed to pop out for me, and I think I could take it with a grain of salt and take it with me this year um, as, as, as I'm coaching. So as we get started here, um, I basically started the presentation with uh, two pictures. The picture, first picture, obviously, as everyone could see, is two skydivers, and the second one is a big wave surfer. So when I think of fearless or someone that has fearlessness, um, I think of like Johnny Knoxville, like jumping off crazy stuff, doing weird stunts, crazy stunts, surfing big waves, jumping out of airplanes. Like that's what I think of fearless when it first pops into my head. So. When you think of fearless, um, it's something that like you do without an exception of any type of thought. Okay, so when this is basically what's going on. When you're fearless, nothing is bothering you. You're not scared of any outcome. Okay, so what does fearless mean? So I found a pretty good uh, definition on the Urban Dictionary about fearless. Um, and it basically says here, fearless is not the absent of, absence of fear. Um, fearless is having fear. Fearless is having doubts. And fearless is living in spite of those things that scare you to death. So basically, um, you can't be fearless without having fear is what it's saying. Um, just because you are fearless doesn't mean that there is fear um, going on in your everyday life, whether it be work, um, your profession, obviously, school. Um, and then it says here, fearless is having doubts. And that was kind of interesting to me. Like, if I'm a fearless person, or if I'm a fearless athlete, um, rarely do you have doubt and fearlessness in the same um, sentence. But what, they're basi what, what, what it's basically saying here is... Um, Despite everything, everyone is scared, everyone has doubts, everyone um, doesn't want to fail. Um, so basically, fearlessness is what comes, is how you handle those things, right? Is doing something even though maybe you're a little scared, you're a little nervous, right? Um, getting out of your comfort comfort zone. Okay, so my next picture in the next slide is basically... It's a picture of a baseball player in the MLB, Alex Rodriguez, getting hit by a baseball. He's kind of flinching a little bit. Um, and basically why I decided to keep, put this picture on here is because I wanted to uh, relate this whole um, project and um, presentation to baseball and my athletic team. So um, one of the biggest problems that I have with, with our athletic players or our, our athletes is that the fear of failure, obviously. Um, and then we have a lot of timidness and fearfulness in terms of when they get into the box um, in big situations. And so part of the reason why I picked this term is because I wanted to be able to use maybe some of these concepts, some, some of these um, definitions that I found um, and use it to help my players, basically. So... Um, if I'm a fearless baseball player, if I'm a fearless athlete, um, there's nothing in my head when I'm playing, hitting, fielding, throwing that is causing me to be scared. Okay, and this is, I basically just wanted to say that I wanted to try to implement 
a culture of fearlessness in our team and it's very hard to preach and uh, um, very hard to get kids to understand how to get to that point. So my next slide basically says what causes fear? Um, what causes fear? Okay, and most kids, athletes that I deal with, me and personally, just everyone in general, um, fear is is a mixture of not wanting to fail, having some doubts, um, maybe a little bit of the pressure to succeed or the pressure the pressure to win. Um, one of the things that I really talk about with our athletes, like if they're scared or really nerd, like if you're scared, right, you're probably not prepared, right? Like no, not everyone, it's okay for everyone to be a little nervous. We talk about nervousness, but if you're scared and you're f so fearful that you can't control your emotions or your, 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 your mind, right, you're probably not prepared enough. You probably didn't work hard enough in practice. Um, okay, so we move on, like why is fearless? important why is being fearless important um it creates a rewarding life and career um you have to go out of your comfort zone to get things and that's how this life works um sometimes you need to take a step a leap of faith um <clears throat> maybe there's a job hanging around that you don't know if you should take or not but you're comfortable but maybe it's a some more money um so you have to act fearless until basically it becomes a part of you and just have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. <clears throat> I wrote a little hashtag here, fearless in, it, or fearless in sport versus life. So I want to really try to teach the athletes how to be fearless on the baseball field, right? And how to go about their business on the baseball field, playing with, playing fearless, right? Hitting fearlessly. Um, and it really teaches them about life, right? Because that's how you have to go about your business in life. Um, and that's really what I want to try to implement this year on the baseball team is just how baseball can relate to life and how it teaches you so much about the game of life and how to handle situations, right? Because um, in life, you have to be able to get what you want. It's really hard to get get what you want by not being fearless, right? Not being by not being scared. Um, so next slide, just wanted to talk about being a fearless athlete, like what that would mean. Um, that's an intense focus that comes from your pre your preparation, um, intense training, mentality. Um, I always like to say, look good, feel good, play good. Because <clears throat> if you're not look if you're not feeling good, you're probably not going to play good. If you're feeling tight, you're probably you're definitely not going to play good. Um, but a fearless athlete to me is someone that's willing to go out of their comfort zone to take that next step in their career to make them a better player, a better person. And that's probably one of the biggest problems that we have in um, my couple years of coaching college baseball is just getting kids to really understand how much hard work it takes to be good, to cause fearlessness, and how long or how much like <clears throat> they don't realize how much training and how much hard work their body can take and some kids really are just fearful of of getting in that weight room and taking the next step throwing the extra weights around getting big right because it's all mental it kind of hurts right so getting kids to take that next step is what it takes to be a fearless athlete now i just kind of have another slide here of uh new york city a businessman and a runner i was basically just wanted to all tie it into just how you know you have to be fearless in everything you do in life, right? Whatever you want, you have to go get. And you, um, sometimes it's not the best thing to be scared or passive, okay? So we have kind of moved into like a, the example of uh, coaching and athletic administration just says leaders are visionaries with a poorly developed sense of fear, no concept of the odds against them. So basically if we're trying to teach kids to be fearless, we have to be fearless ourselves as leaders, okay? So then I get into a just the quote from the practical ethics book that we've been reading intimidation is the act of causing another individual to be cowed to be fearful to withdraw and to bend another's will um they're talking about leaders trying to intimidate players right and and causing them to be fearful instead of fearless right so they're, they're using intimidation to to try to get these players 
to act a certain way and it's actually not working so I just wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit it was a quote I was able to get from a book that kind of touched on um, putting fear into athletes and now a couple more two more slides here and then we're done just wanted to go over the biblical stuff that I was able to find Isaiah 35 4 say to them that are fearful for heart be strong fear not behold your God your God will come with vengeance even God with a, re a recomp recompense he will come and save you right so um, you know, we, this life we live is a little tough and it's always easy to be fearful and not trusting God and um, your Lord your God will be with you right and here's the next one Joshua 1 9 have I not commanded you be strong and, and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go right so um, just a couple good uh, quotes that I was able to find about you know being being fearless and and, and 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 being fearless because we know that God is going to be there with us no matter what happens. Then I just, at the last thing, a little poetry right here um, that I was able to find just about fearless warrior. Fearless warrior, prepare, prepare for battle, stand your ground. Fearless warrior, don your armor, um, blah, blah, blah. We can keep reading it, but basically, I'm running out of time here. Um, basically, um, this little... You have to be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. So whatever you love to do, right, do it do it with all your might, all your soul, right, and be fearless in taking that next step into making you better in whatever that is. If that's a profession, um, athletic team, just anything you do, right, we're going to try, try and instill f uh, fearless or fearlessness into it um, because that's what it takes to take it to uh, to get to the next level um thanks for listening um hope it was a, a good learning experience um i hope you guys could uh take a few things from this presentation and uh thank you very much